Hey guys, Storm here with another episode of Let's Make Pokemon in Unity. And uh, today, uh, we're going to be continuing the battle system. Uh, the first things first, what I want to get out of the way is if we go to our uh, Pokemon sprites, I just want to change it from 96 to 32. Uh, so what this does, it just makes the Pokemon bigger uh, when we're battling. So we're going to have to uh, move it around, uh, as you can see. Um... Actually, we didn't <laughs> encounter a Pokemon there. I will have to have a f look at that, why that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, as you see, it makes the Pokemon bigger. Uh, we just also want to move the sprite up uh, when we do that. Just like that. Uh, so what we can do to fix that right now is we can see that it only needs to move up uh, one. So when we encounter a Pokemon, uh, so if we just go over to um, our long grass, sorry, we need the game manager one. Uh, we'll just open the game manager, and uh, we'll come down to where we spawn a Pokemon uh, when we enter a battle, and when we say. Um, Uh, here when we say it's position, uh, what I want to do is create a new vector 3. Uh, we'll say pokey local pause. And that'll be equal to a new vector 3 of 0, 1, and 0. And then basically we can just say dpokey, uh, dot transform dot local position. Sorry, that local position is equal to pokey local pause. Uh, so the next thing what I want to do is create a new folder uh, for our UI. And then this uh, script that we're going to be creating right now is going to be called uh, battle manager. So open that up. And uh, we'll also want a reference to that in the game manager. So we'll just say a public battle manager. Just call that BM. Uh, just ignore the error there for a second. Uh, so the battle manager is going to take a few things. Uh, so we're just going to make this bit neat. Um, I'll show what we're going to be doing quickly, but we're just organizing our variables. Uh, just a little bit better in the inspector. So if you write header, and then for now we write, um, uh, we'll just say um, selection, like that. And then we come down, and we're going to be setting up our variables like that. Um, so for selections, we just need the four texts, uh, which will be a public text uh, for fight. Uh, sorry, up here we also need to do using Unity Engine dot UI. So we'll have a public text for fight, a public text for bag, a public text for Pokemon, a public text for run. Uh, down here, we're also going to have a uh, public enum menu. Uh, sorry, battle menus. And in there, what we're going to add is uh, selection, Pokemon, bag, and then fight. Uh, we'll also have info as well because we have the info text uh, pop up every now and then um, above here what we we'll do is we just have a reference to the public battle menu um, and this will be uh, current menu what we also need is a public game object for the um, we'll just say selection menu. Uh, 
so after that what we want to do is we just want to uh, type in here a space of 10 and that will just create a space uh, the next thing we want to do sorry before we have a look at that is to just add another header and then this will be for moves and then we just need to add in a public game object for moves menu so if we go to unity uh, and then game what I want to do is down here on our canvas we're just going to call this the battle uh, sorry on the battle camera we'll add in our battle manager and we can see it just adds the header um, yeah sorry it just adds the header and then the text underneath uh, so I might actually just get rid of the space for now we'll just have a look if that works uh, without it so really it's just for style purposes that we want uh, but you can see that it uh, just separates the content so it's easier for us to see uh, so we'll continue adding in things uh, what we also need up here is a public game object for the selection info um, yeah. so down here for the moves we want to add in a so we've got the public game over from the moves menu and then we also want a public game object for our moves details uh, and that we're also going to have a public text for our pp and then a public text for our type uh, sorry we'll say p type just so we can know it's Pokemon type. Um, that should be all. And then we also need a public text for our move. Uh, uh, so we'll go move O, public text, move T, public uh, text for move TH, and then public text for move F. Uh, and then the next one that we want to do is add in a header for uh, just info in general and this will just be a public game object info menu and it needs a public text for info text uh, so what we can do is when we come over to unity if we go to our battle camera uh, we can start populating uh, this so for example the selection menu we'll just need the selections uh, and then the info panel uh, just quickly what we also need to add in is a public text for a selection info text uh, so we can just add in the info panel text there as well uh, then we just need to add in the fight bag so i'll be back once i've populated this all right so i've added all those in and the correct positions. Uh, the next thing I also just want to do is um, we'll just create a new header and this will just be for the rest of things. Uh, so we'll just say misc. Um, so now I have a public int for uh, what our current selection is and then we're going to add in some functions. So the first function we want to add in is a public void for change menu and basically this just takes in a battle menu uh, BM. Uh, so we just say better menu M, and then we'll say our uh, current menu is equal to M, and we're going to switch M. So we'll say case uh, battle menu dot selection. So for now we're just going to add in these menus. Uh, we don't need to worry about the others yet. Later on we'll come back to that. Uh, so now we'll add in battle menu uh, dot fight. And then we'll add in one more for battle menu dot uh, info. And now for each of these ones, what we're going to do is uh, so for this one, we're going to say moves menu dot game object. Actually, we'll start off with selection menu just to go in chronological order. So we'll say selection menu dot game object dot set active false uh, sorry we want to set this one to true uh, then we want to go our uh, selection info dot game object dot set active uh, true 
and then we want to set the rest of them false. Uh, so the moves menu dot game object dot set active uh, false, and then also the moves detail dot game object dot set active false. We will also go for our info menu then as well. Uh, then we'll just copy these over to each uh, of these and we'll set the ones respectively. Uh, so the info this one needs to be true and then the rest just need to be false. So I'll be back once I've done that. Alrighty, so that's done. Uh, once we've done this as well, we also want to say that our current selection is equal to zero. Um, so on our update, we're just going to uh, we're going to get our input. So we're going to say if input dot get key down key code dot um, down arrow. So we we'll just work with the down arrows and up arrow for now. And later on, maybe we'll add in support for the left and right uh, keys. Uh, down arrow and then up arrow as well. Uh, so we'll say if current selection uh, is less than 4, I believe. And then if current selection is greater than 0, then we'll just say current selection plus plus, uh, sorry, minus minus, and then current selection plus plus. Uh, down here, instead of setting it to zero, we'll set it to one. Uh, so after that, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna add in a switch for our current menu again. Uh, but this time we're only gonna add in um, this time we're only going to add in for our fight, I believe, yeah, our fight, and then our um, moves, or selection, sorry. Uh, to keep clone clean, what we're going to add in is a text um, for first, text for second, text for third, and a text for fourth. So in here we can just say our first, sorry, our first is equal to move O, our second is equal to move S, uh, sorry, move T, our third is equal to move TH, and then our fourth is equal to move F. And then down here we're going to do the same. Our first is equal to our fight. No, sorry, moves. Or actually, be fight. Our second is equal to. Um, uh, our second is equal to bag. Our third is equal to Pokemon. And then our fourth is equal to uh, run. So down here we can just say switch our current selection. So we'll do case one, break, case two, break, case three, break, and then case four, break. Sorry, case four, break. Uh, so what we want to do here is just say, actually uh, what we want to do is add in a few things up here. Uh, so, um, we'll add in a private text for our uh, we'll say run t. And we'll just do this for all of these as well. Private text Pokemon t. And then we'll do that for the moves as well as this one. So back once I've done that. 
Okay, so now that I've done that, uh, we'll come down here and we'll add in a um, string. Um, sorry, what I, we have to do quickly is change these from text to string, sorry. Uh, that's my mistake. So for all the private ones that we've just made, uh, just go through and set them to string like so. Um, and down here we'll just add in string ft is equal to, uh, it would say string ft. And then string st. I'll be back once I've done that. Uh, so this one I just called it FFT. Uh, and then down here, we're going to basically set our FT is equal to um, basically uh, move O. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, move O T. Like that. Be back once I've done that. As that's good. Uh, at the start, what we want to do is we just want to set our things. Uh, so like a phi T is equal to find dot text and so I'll be back once I've done that uh, just like that so down here in our case what we can do is say um, uh, so up here what we also want to do is equal a new text just for now uh, sorry I take that back sorry to play around with you guys like this uh, it's actually probably just easier if we delete that and then sorry delete that if we just put this extra switch in for each of these ones uh, it's probably just easier if we do that i'm so sorry uh, so we'll just go ahead and do that quickly uh, so now what we want to do is so in the five what we want to do is say um that move o is equal to uh, sorry, move all text is equal to uh, this space uh, plus move all dot text like that, um, and then everything else. So move t dot text is equal to move td, and so on and so forth. So I'll be back once I've done. So then it looks something similar to this. Uh, now I'm just going to copy this and put it down here for the uh, selection one. All right, and now um, what we need to do really quickly is um, yep yeah, here. So we also what we want to add in is if current selection uh, is equal to zero, then we just want to say current selection is equal to one. Uh, just to fix that quickly. Uh, the other thing that we want to do. Um, yeah, is when we enter into a battle, uh, we just want to go bm.change menu and we're going to change it to uh, so, uh, battle menu dot selection like that and uh, that should be fine. So now if we go to our game manager, we can just drag our battle camera there. Uh, so now if we get into a fight. Eventually we'll get into a fight. <laughs> uh, like that. You can see that we can go through them all. Alright. So that's been this episode. <laughs> next episode, again, will be even more implementation of the battling. Um, but hopefully next episode uh, will be when we actually do start the real process of battling with taking health and things like that. Um, and when we'll work on catching Pokemon a bit after that as well. Uh, I'm sorry for the uh, extremely long episode. Uh, I hope to make sure that the next one's going to be a lot shorter. Um, if you guys... Uh, do have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the comment sections below or you can access me on my twitter at bstormgames if you like uh, and i'll see you guys next time hope you guys have a good night see you later